Good day everyone, here we are on another sunny Queensland winter afternoon. I'm Dan and welcome to my channel Pretty Average Astro. So right now I've got my Evolux 82 ED to capture some wide field data of the Cat Spore Nebula. So last week I captured some data with my EvoStar 120 ED. Can't remember how much data but I got about four to eight hours. Now, yeah. this will be my first time combining data of different focal lengths. So tonight, the plan is to get another eight to 10 hours of that wide field of view and then combine that within PixInsight with the EvoStar 120 ED with the plan to hopefully have a nice wide field picture, but a really detailed center. So yeah. now I'll give you a quick overview of tonight's setup. Now, yeah. I know many of you would have seen this setup already, but this is my HEQ5 uh, mount that I've belt modded. I've got the Evolux 82 ED paired with the Star Arizona 0.65 reducer, taking it down to about f4.2. I've got the Zero filter draw with the Optolong L Ultimate, the Zero 533 MC Pro camera, yeah, the 290 MC guide camera the Evo Guide 50 ED, the ASI Air Mini, and a little SV Boney Jew heater. Meow, I also forgot to mention I'll also hopefully get some data on the Omega Nebula, I think it's called. I've never taken a picture of this. I found it while I was doing my planning and yeah, hopefully that'll be a good result as well. And I should be able to show you those pictures at the end of this video. Now, yeah. all we have to do is wait until it gets dark. Now, I also forgot to mention I haven't shot this since I had a Canon DSLR. So this will be really interesting to see the comparison with the new gear, especially the new camera. Meow. Yeah. Meow, yeah, I also hope my neighbors don't see me like this either.